So, um, this is Twitch Rivals. I don't understand it very well. There's four teams. Each team has two players and a coach. The, I know the coach is better than the players. The players are famous streamers from, you know, other stuff. Um, I'm a coach. Naroditsky's a coach. Hess is a coach. And Krikor is a coach. And we have two players. Now, by coach, we're not allowed to do very much. Once per game, um, the people on our team, there's two on each team, can stop and for 30 seconds, I can talk to them about the game. That's it. Once a game. So I can do 30 seconds a game. There's going to be eight games the first part of the thing. That's the preliminaries. Then there's going to be finals. So the top two teams play in the finals for first. The bottom two teams play in the consolation for that. And there's prizes for everything. Uh, and I think we split the prizes evenly. So if our team wins... $300, then we each get 100 Okay. Also, I'm not sure what I'm saying is correct. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get rid of this. And then let me try to fix this. Um, let's see, OBS. And just board two. Okay. So I think that's right. R1 blade, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see if the other game... Man, you guys are really bad with the... You're just really bad. Okay, refresh this. And that's not working. All right, yeah, I don't know. All right, so uh, let me turn on the the thing. Uh, where's the thing? Um, evaluation. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. I asked for the link to the other game since nothing ever works. And I got the evaluation bar, which they told me to put on the stream. And there it is. Okay, this is a Budapest. Um, okay. And my guy's 1300 and their guy's 1600. That doesn't seem fair. Hey, I, dude, that's what I'm saying. I've been saying that's 300 rating. Yeah, exactly. Wait, no, he just you... got up. Pretty sure his minute went up. Wait, you can hear me? You're not supposed to be able to hear me. <laughs> no, I, I call the lifeline as well right now. So we have like 30 seconds. Oh, oh, you asked? Okay. This is the position after bishop e7. Uh, yeah, he just went back. And you want to know what to do here? Yeah. Yeah, put your bishop back to f4. And then hopefully later in the game you can play h3 and destroy his pawn structure. So bishop okay. f4, was... move your bishop back one square. No, no, not e3. No. F4? Oh, e wait. No, not e3. No. <laughs> I thought that's f4. Oh, yeah, that's, okay, play bishop d4. Yeah. Move your bishop to the left one diagonal, d4. Yeah. In okay. front of your... Yeah, yeah, good, good. He should have taken your bishop, but he didn't. Yeah. All right, if he takes your knight, take with the g-pawn attacking his knight. Um, yeah. That's probably been 30 seconds, so probably we can't hear each other anymore. Yeah, he's not saying anything. Yeah. Well, I, I tried to help him. I didn't think he would know the square names. But, you know. His opponent not playing knight takes e3 is very strange. All right, let me try to get the other game. Because that guy could be calling for a lifeline too. Okay. And then copy link. Just a second, guys. And then paste link. All right. And then, hold on a second, guys. I have to do something in here. Uh, I have to do this. All right. And my guy's black, so we'll flip the board. All right. So this this is um, 
the guy with black is my guy. Both of my guys are paired up. Okay, bishop c5, not too good. Threatens mate. The guy saw it. Okay. All right. Is the queen trapped? No, yes, queen h5. All right. Okay, so those are, those are the two games. Things are working now. I don't know why I need the links. I don't, I'm following them on both accounts, but I can't get either game up. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, actually, it does make sense for the other guy because he's using a fake account, I guess. But Majin Phil's using a normal account. I followed him. Yeah. So now this guy, once this game can ask for help, um, yeah. Yeah, that was bad if you'd asked for help and I didn't have the game up at all. That would have been bad. So yeah, queen h5 is the only move. Um... And so forth, yeah. Da, da, da. All right, he played Queen H five, and we didn't even talk yet. All right, can you guys see the the bar? You can, okay. So you can see the bar. You can see both games. Good, good. I can actually go to the other game without going to it myself by clicking this. Um, all right, so my guy has less time, and his game's not very good. And in the other game... My guy has more time and his game isn't very good. The important thing is my guy's games aren't very good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now this game that you're watching here, that's, that's the guy at the bottom. That's the, yeah. The guy where you can see the microphone. And he's got his hands like this. That's the game at the that we're watching now. And um yeah. It's not not great for black. Okay, and then the other game is is the guy on top, who we can see most of them, but not all of them. Um let's see, how do I get that? I click this. Okay. Let's go back and see like what happened which means I have to do some more work. No. Okay. So bishop d4 is the last move that we saw. And then this. I told him to take with the g-pawn. Maybe he didn't hear me. Or maybe he didn't agree. Maybe he forgot. But it could be that he already was cut off. Aha, uh -huh, king e2. That's, you know, I guess my team might not win. Um. All right. Then queen a4. I mean, it's uh, creative. <clears throat> queen takes b4. That's the best move. F takes e3. That's you know, almost the best move. Good enough. D5. Yeah, so far, our guy's not doing great. Um, he has less time, and his position is very bad. But yeah, when he plays bishop e3 and queen a4 and king e2... I, it, does, it doesn't make me confident that he's going to do well. But I don't know. Guys are low rated. Uh, thanks for the raid, Pretty Hardy. Hooray. Uh, normally, when you raid me, I would give you a laurel. But I, I, I don't have one. So I can give you a hearty handshake. That's, that's all I can do. All right. What happened here? Black gave up a pawn for nothing and white took it. Okay. Now black's clearly better instead of winning. So that's good. I don't think black saw the queen could move sideways. All right, let's look at the other game. Uh, 
Not much has happened. White played knight c3, and black played what? Black's pieces look like they're in the same place. Why aren't the clocks running? I'm totally baffled. All right. Now it says that my guy's much better in the other game. It says 95 is terrible. Um, and that, like, any move gives white the advantage. King here, rook here, rook here. This seems reasonable to me for a bad move. Now it threatens that. Yeah, and that's just, that's uh, bad because of knight here. And then the king has to defend this, and he's easy to blunder. So e4 is a blunder. Knight d5 was bad. So, you know, they play almost as bad as me. Yeah. Am I not allowed to listen to them? I, I don't even know how I would listen to them. I'm, I'm streaming. I'm talking. I mean, you know, listen to them. I listen to both of them? Ah! All right, let's look at the other game, because I don't want to look at this game anymore. Bah! Now I have to look at that game. Damn. I guess I'm winning less prize money than I expected. Man, the truth hurts. <clears throat> okay, let's go back. Never going back. Uh, after they traded queens, it was knight c3, rook e8. These moves are all reasonable. Knight f3, knight c6. You can't play better than this. Bishop b4, a3, bishop a5. These moves are all legal. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. All right, so white's up a pawn for nothing. And black has six minutes and white has four minutes. So I'm guessing I would rather have black here if I had those ratings NG. and those were the time situations. I mean, if it's move 13 and white's used most of his time, I mean, he's slower than me. That doesn't make any sense. So What, what should I do, Benji? Uh, you're black here. Yeah. Um, every move is about the same. You, you definitely want to move your knight back to f6 that's on h5 because that knight's terrible. You could trade bishops first or just play knight f6. And eventually you want to move your d-pawn in the center up one square so your bishop can get out. So put your knight on okay. h5 to a good square f6 and get your bishop out. Okay. And play Thank fast. You. Play fast, you'll win on time. This guy's slow. Okay, okay, I will. Yeah. Good luck. Crush him. Thank you. I will, I will. Yeah. That, that was the 30 seconds. It cuts off. After 30 seconds, the people in charge cut us off and we can't talk anymore. Yeah. Yeah, my guy said, hey, what do I do? And then I said, do this, do that, do the other. I said, play knight f6, move, play d6 and get your bishop out, and play fast because your opponent's really slow and he's going to lose on time. And everything I said was correct. He put his knight here, good. He's got to play d6 to get his bishop out. If he plays fast, you can see that this guy never moves. Like, there's nothing going on here. Every move is the same for White, and he never moves. There's no tactics. There's no positional nuances. He just doesn't want to move. So our guy's a big favorite here. He's got twice as much time. He's down a pawn, but it literally doesn't matter. Now, figuratively, it might, but not literally. Yeah. I've chatted with each player for 30 seconds. This game, that's it. I'm done. The only thing I'm doing now is streaming. It's like I'm watching like you. Except I'm more financially involved than you guys are in the results of this game. So that move worries me because if the guy takes with a pawn, which he did, my guy has to see that. I'm not confident my guy's going to see that. But he better. <laughs> so this is the only good move. And then the second best move is just to move one of his rooks. He doesn't lose all his pieces. So hopefully he'll he'll take this. All right. Um, let's look at the other game. Um, let's go. I have to do stuff. Sorry. Okay, I did stuff. Okay. So, uh, yeah, knight e5 is a mistake. e4 is a mistake. Knight check is correct. King d2 is okay. Knight takes d3. 
is, you know, all right. King takes is actually correct. It's better than queen takes, which I don't understand. I'd probably play queen takes. Um, it doesn't like king c2. It wants to go the other way. But all right. King c2 is fine. He's, he stopped rook d8 winning his queen, so I'm happy. And then b3 is okay. That's good. And king b2 is the best move. All right. So white's a pawn up. And what I'm hoping for is they trade queens. It's even material and is not going to get checkmated. Now, the problem is in this position is my guy has three minutes and their guy has five minutes. I don't like that. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. And so forth. So, yeah, it's not looking good. Lifeline here. Yeah. All right. I'm reading the thing that I never read. Okay. Probably should. Um, oh, let's, he did, he did, he, he played correctly, my guy. Nothing you can say can take me away from my guy. Yay. So my guy played well and he is playing fast. He's doing exactly what I said. He took here, he saw knight c7, I guess, maybe. Knight e7 is correct. And d6 is correct. So he's the same losing that he was, but look at the times. I'm taking black all day. <clears throat> White's winning, but it's going to take White like 40 moves to win if he plays perfectly. But he's got a minute 40, and then the guy's got five minutes. So I'm really happy with this game, even though the position is not very good. I'm very happy with the time situation. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, that's not bad. So this is quite good. I'm very happy with this G4. Yeah, move doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess he didn't notice this. All right, so I'm very happy with this game. It's not that bad. It just got better, and we're way ahead on time. All right, now this is the game I'm worried about. <clears throat> the engine says that that he's better now. So black has been playing badly, but I don't like the time situation. Yeah, queen b5 is not good. Queen e2 checks not good. Yeah. Yeah, so now white's just a pawn up. Like this is great for white, but now there is a five second increment, so not all is lost. White's this game has turned around a lot from Black crushing white to white being better. But I don't like the four minutes to the two minutes. So on one board, we're worse and winning on time. On the other board, we're better and losing on time. So, I don't know. Come on, take on C5 and get mated. Even though you're 1600, it says. Do it anyway. Damn, he didn't do it. So, yeah, the games are, you know, opposite, you know, something. Go R1 blade. All right, that move just gives this away. He was thinking after takes this was mate, but the guy can play queen F8, but he won't see queen F8. So he's not going to take that. He's going to think that, yeah, he's going to think that that wins like my guy did. Yeah. Now queen D6 and white's dominating. Or 95, which hangs the pawn again. My guy's probably thinking after here, he'll go here and win. He doesn't see that black has 37 defenses to that. But as long as black doesn't see it, I mean, and the knight should go to d4 or g5. It shouldn't go here. It has nowhere to go from here. But yeah, there's no reason not to defend this pawn. But my guy's playing faster, so that's okay. Look how they're concentrating. These guys are serious. About what? I'm not sure. Okay, let's... Uh, let me, let's see, I have to click this and I have to click that and so forth. All right, so unfortunately, he didn't take the correct pawn. He took that pawn. Yeah, all right. Um, then he attacked the knight and the guy saw it. Then he played c5. And obviously white doesn't know on passant. But he did play knife f5. Always play knife f5. 
All right. So white's still better, but black still has this monster time advantage, but it's shrinking. <clears throat> what most people don't know, especially women, is about shrinkage. They don't, they don't know what that is. So hopefully my guy's not, you know, didn't just go in the pool and he can start playing quickly again. Let's face it, he's not going to play too good, but if he plays quickly, that's better. Yeah. Go, Ben. Yeah. The more you donate, the better my guys do. Go, my guys. I wish you wouldn't let this happen and give the guy pass deep on. But look at the time. Good, good. Excellent time. These are the, the two, you know, not as good players. Not as good players. All right, let me look at the other game. Uh, see if my guy's you know, blundered yet. Bam. All right, what's happening this game? Okay, so now knight d7 wins immediately and knight g4 wins immediately. But I, I would doubt he was going to see those. g6, yeah. So now if he goes here or here, the knight goes to f6 winning the queen. If you stop there, then I take the bishop. So either one of these moves wins immediately. Those are the only two good moves. And he blundered. He played here. Now he's slightly worse. These moves would have won the game. Threatening to win the queen. And when you stop that, then I take the bishop. Either way. So th this, these moves would have won. And he played here. Okay, desperado. Why don't you come to your senses? That's fine. And he played bishop a4, which, you know, it's legal. And then white blundered a piece, I guess, with knight f4. Yeah, my guy has to play knight h4 here because knight f5, but he blundered a piece and the other guy saw it. Oh, wait a minute. It's funny, the engine said queen e5 wins. Now it says draw after this. So what I, was, what I meant to say was my guy's a genius. Yeah, I didn't see king a3. And what's funny is the engine said in this position, knight f4 loses immediately. Then it changed its mind after seeing king a3. So what I meant to say was, my guy's the greatest genius ever. That's what I meant. Although I would have liked knight h4 to f5. Knight f5 is a good square. Yeah, queen g3 mate, knight d6, knight h, you know. The knight's much better here. So knight h4 would have been better, I think. But, all right. Uh, the important thing is, he's catching up on time. He's only down a minute. And he's not losing. So, all right. Not losing is good. Let's go to the other board. Yeah, when I go to the other board, I have to actually go to it to update the moves. That's not fair. All right. So what happened after G6? He played takes, which is correct. Takes is correct. Takes is correct. Takes is correct. D6 is fine. That just hangs a piece to D7. Obviously, he has to play Bishop D7. But okay, whatever. Okay, Bishop C4 check. The guy doesn't want to play D7 and win. Okay, good. And then he tacks the bishop. Now d7 wins again. Now what I don't like is the time's getting closer. I don't like that. Please play bishop d7. He didn't play at the last four moves. He'll probably play c4. If I was rated 800, I would play c4. Oh, b5, all right. Well, let's hope the position on the board doesn't matter, that only the clock matters. If only the clock matters, my guy's better. Yay, now my guy can do a whatever this is called, a skewer, and he's and he's winning. Yes! Take that rook. Do it! Yes. Don't let that deep pawn queen. You're gonna let the deep pawn queen, but don't. Nah, he's gonna let the deep pawn queen. Thanks for the 500 centages. Don't let the deep pawn queen. The, yes! He hung his rook on the same square the bishop was. Please take the rook. No, okay, that's okay. Take the rook. Take it. Your bishop was just there. <laughs> take the rook. Stop making me suffer. He's not going to take the rook. Would have taken it already if he was going to take it. Play d7 and hang your rook again. Do it. I mean, my guy's already up a rook. But two rooks, then I can relax. Yay, take it. Don't move your king. Oh, my God, he's going to move his king. Don't move your king. 
No, no, oh God, no. Yes, he didn't take the rookie and the bishop. Okay, my doctor said I have to stop watching this because my heart can't take it. Okay, every move a picture. Uh, let's look at the other game. Let's see, my guys, I can't look at this game either. Darn. Okay, so in this position, uh, knight d5 just hangs his rook. I mean, the rook's attacked. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's not good. <laughs> All right, hung his rook. And then he played queen b5, allowing queen d4. And then he took on a5, losing his queen. And rook a8 was mate. All right. And they both have less than a minute. So I guess the guy could hang his queen. I don't think he hang his queen. He's 1,600. All right, so we're not doing good on this board. My heart can't take it. Let's hope that we tie the match on this other board. Got to hope for something. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so rook f7, x clam. King g8, double x clam. Rook a7, triple x clam. Bishop there hanging his rook. That's good. And then he hangs his bishop. Good. All right. And now he has less time. <sighs> yeah, they both called me. <sighs> this is the game I'm hoping. The other game I gave up. This game's not over. Either side could win this game. You guys don't understand. I was 900 before you were born. I know what 900 is. All right, G5 setting up for stalemate or something. I don't know. I like the way the last 20 moves, White has no interest in queening his D-pawn. Every move he should have played D7, D8, but he's like, nah, it's good on D6. I can't believe my guy has less time. Terrible. All right. All three results possible. What? He finally tried to queen? Man, terrible. If he does queen, then rook f1 check and there's stalemate checks. But I don't think he's... Oh. Yeah. He'll queen. Rook takes bishop takes draw. It's 100%. It's 100%. Please play rook takes pawn check. Thank you. One hundred percent. He took no. Oh, he didn't see. He could take it probably. <clears throat> the question is, did, did Black see that White could take it? That's the question. Probably not. Probably he hung his rook, and then it, yeah, and it was yeah. He just hung his rook. Then it was then it was stalemate by accident. When Black did this, he didn't even see this was stalemate. He just wanted to take the pawn with check. He's like, oh no, my rook's attacked. All right, so that wasn't good, but it was better than the other game? 